Hi guys, this is your DK here. In this video, we're gonna see the latest version of YOLO, which is YOLO V8. And we're gonna see a practical end-to-end -end demonstration of custom object deduction using YOLO V8 and RoboFlow. Uh, the best part of YOLO V8 is like, you don't want to download the package externally from the Git. You can directly do it using the pip command. But I was facing some issues when I tried to do the pip in my local, uh, but it worked fine in the uh, Google Collaboratory. And also a big thanks to the RoboFlow, uh, which is an open source tool, which helps us in creating the data set and annotating it and exporting it uh, in a very easier and quicker way. Yeah, instead of wasting the time, let's jump into the demo. Yeah, first we need to create the data set. For that, we are using the RoboFlow. Uh, a big ton of thanks to the RoboFlow block, which explained uh, in a detailed way how to create the data set and try and using YOLO V8 model. I just mimic the steps and I'm gonna show you the demo. For that, we need to create a workspace. So I'm gonna create a workspace, uh, a new workspace for the demonstration. So for that, you can create a, a workspace here and you can make it as hobbies since I'm doing it for a hobby. I'm gonna give my workspace name as demo and continue. Uh, I don't want to invite any of my friends. Uh, community version, which is public, uh, free for everyone. Okay, so I don't want to explore anything. So what is the type of project I'm gonna do? I'm gonna detect the image using the bounding box. So I'm gonna select the uh, bounding box over here. Uh, what I'm gonna detect, detect is my uh, whey protein shaker. So I'm gonna give shaker over here. I'm gonna give a project name as uh, bottle detection, something like that. And uh, I'm gonna leave other drop downs as it is, I'm, and I'm gonna create a public project over here. Okay, for that, I need to upload some images. So I'm gonna upload some of my images which I've already uh, saved in my machine. Uh, let me go to that particular path. So this is for the testing purpose, so, I mean the demonstration purpose. I'm just using just five to six images for training the model and show you a demo. So let me select some of the images from here and I have kept a separate image for the final validation. So which is inside this. So let me try to create the data set. Okay, so I'm gonna select these four images for my training. Let me open it. Okay, once the image is selected, you can give save and continue. Okay, and you can you uh, if you want to uh, involve your friends in creating the data sets when you face the real uh, time projects, right? You will have lots and lots of images. It will be difficult for a single person to do annotations. So if you want to invite some of your friends or teammates, you can uh, use their email and you can invite them. Since I don't, uh, I'm doing it by myself. I'm gonna assign the images to myself itself. Okay, the images are ready, then I'm going to annotate it. So here uh, you have something where we can drag and drop and annotate it actually. So basically what it does is like it uh, captures the coordinates of this particular uh, water shaker portal uh, from this uh, whole image. So I'm going to create an annotation. Uh, I'm going to name it as shaker, save and enter. I'm going to go to the second. I'm going to do the same for rest of my images. Save and enter and next and save and enter next and save and enter so yeah and that's it then so i'm gonna go back uh, you can see all the images has been annotated i'll the image data set so i'm going to add these four images to my see if you want to split between train test you can do it so i'm going to assign all the four images to my training since i have low amount of data so again, I'm gonna upload the image, uh, upload the image uh, for my testing. So I'm gonna choose uh, uh, these three image, uh, I mean, uh, last two image for testing actually. And I will keep another image for validation. So save and continue again. Uh, you need uh, to sign in into this RoboFlow using your Gmail uh, for the first time. So I'm gonna repeat the steps uh, which I did for the other images. Uh, so 
these are images which is taken in two different places. Uh, save and enter and back at images. So this is going to be my testing set and add images. And now I'm gonna upload a single image for my validation. And again, guys, this is just to see the performance and to explore for learning purpose. If you uh, do for the real time project, you might be having lots and lots of images and you need to annotate it in a better way. Okay, the upload is completed and assign image. Okay, so I'm gonna click it and i'm gonna drag it so yeah done that's it okay back add one image to the data set so this is going to my validation set so that's done so i have added all my trying test and validation everything and i'm gonna create a new version out of it so if you want to do some pre-processing they are giving you some default pre-processing steps like resizing and other things i'm just gonna leave it as it is i'm not gonna i mean explore them so let me have the default configuration and let's see how it works. <clears throat> so this is creating uh, my uh, image data set. So everything is done. So what I'm going to do is like uh, we can directly import the data set from RoboFlow to our Google Collab. For that, you need to give, see, we can see the version, like which one you need. So I'm going to use the YOLO V8, which is the latest one. So get snippet, that's it. So this is the piece of code. Here your API key will be masked, but when you paste it, it will be uh, it will be present actually. So this is the piece of code for you to interact to the RoboFlow UI and get the data set. So you can see this is my uh, project name which I created and this is my workspace ID, uh, that's it. So this is the version and this is my API key. So let's jump into the demonstration directly. Uh, I have mentioned them step by step the first step is like create an image so we have done it using the roboflow the second one is like importing the yolo v8 package so the best part of this is uh, the pip install so i have already opened my collab notebook okay yeah let me do a pip install uh and again thanks to the ultralytics for uh, making the developers life much easier Okay, the packages has been installed. So yeah, upload an image and check uh, the install package is working fine or not. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is like, I have already an image. So already we have uh, YOLO V8, which is already been trained on uh, different classification of images. I'm gonna check whether uh, the YOLO V8 is working fine in my machine or not. So for that, I'm gonna upload one of the random image, like uh, which I downloaded from the internet. So, I'm going to check whether the YOLO V8 model is able to predict this uh, correctly or not. So this is the code. So this is the downloaded image. So I'm just giving the path of the downloaded image over here. Uh, so it is trying to predict and it says like uh, the image has been predicted and the predicted images has been kept inside the uh, runs. Uh, yeah, inside the runs and predict folder inside the runs detect and predict folder. Uh, let me use a Python code to visualize it actually. So I'm just importing it and so I already have the code handy. So I'm just copy pasting it. So download.jpg, so I'm just changing the size of the image to 500 for the better uh, visualization. So I'm going to run it. So you can see, right, uh, the YOLO V8 model is able to predict, uh, the custom YOLO V8 model, which is already been available, is able to predict an image as a dog. So now let's try to uh, train our custom data set. So for that, what we need to do is like, uh, this is the piece of code which has been given by the RoboFlow. So I'm going to import my data set, right? So I'm going to copy paste it. That's it. Once you have copy pasted it, okay, let it done. So it is importing all the, I mean, the images and annotations, which is over here, which it is trying to import it into uh, your Google Collab notebook. So, so it's been done. So this is the piece of code guys to train the model.
so here uh, if you want you can change the epoch uh, epoch to 100 or 200 or whatever it is so since uh, i'm going to i'm going to i'm performing just for the demonstration or learning purpose i have uh, limited the epoch to 50 so basically it's using the yodo va default pre trained model and it's going to use the my yaml file which is the annotated file which has been created by the roboflow and i'm going to train my data so i'm just going to run this piece of line that's it so it's gonna uh, run for uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, so based upon your uh, i mean the image uh, weight so i'm just gonna pass the video and we will join back once the image prediction has been done i mean the training has been done yeah hi guys uh, my image training has been completed successfully and it has mentioned like all the results has been saved in didact underscore train actually and you can go inside didact folder and you can see the train it has captured a uh, weights of each and everything and even it has kind of captured the configuration i mean the sorry the confusion matrix and other details and even it has done some validation it has captured all the details uh, okay the training is done now uh, you can see there will be a different weights over here uh, if you go inside the weights right there will be a different weights the best weight and the last weight whatever it is so we're going to use the best weight uh, which has been trained and we're going to try to predict the image so what we're gonna do is like yeah okay so now we're gonna predict an image so for that i have kept an image separately uh, which is uh, inside this so i'm gonna upload an image to the google collab okay okay so i'm gonna upload an image okay so this is the image name let me rename it uh so. Okay, testing. I'm gonna rename it as a testing. So it's uploading. I take some time to upload. Okay, was it uploaded? No, testing, it's not there, it's still loading. Okay, let me refresh it. Uh, where, it's the, where is the image? Oh, oh here yeah, somewhere okay so let me copy the path i'm just gonna uh, i mean change the path over here that's it oh, this is the weight uh, so this is the path so uh, i'm gonna task is equal to detect uh, which is uh, which which is used to detect the uh, image and uh, mode equal to predict and uh, what is the model i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the best weight and uh, this is the source actually so let me try running it Okay, so what it's saying is like uh, it has uh, predicted and the results has been stored in predict three. Uh, so detect and predict three. This is my image. So let me uh, visualize it using a Python code. So yeah, so I'm gonna paste this path. Yeah, it is able to predict my uh, shaker out of the image which has been given. Yeah, that's it with the demo. Uh, I will paste the code below in the link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching the video and happy learning.